let's hear from Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's camp. Uh, miracles, uh, Dennis Miracles Abwaji is one of the spokespersons of uh, the Dr. Mahmoud Baumia campaign. Uh, miracles, we are told it's going to be a really long night uh, as we wait for a decision to be made. Which of the decisions from the meeting tonight is going to be acceptable to your camp? We are told that you are not on the petition. You did not sign. And I mean using you to mean the vice president. Thank you, Maru. So the vice president's position is that the party has done this uh, severally. And the party has systems and structures in place to handle these things. He's a member of the National Council, but so long as he's a candidate, he's subjecting himself to the direction of the National Council. And so um, so long as the National Council comes out with a decision that does not disenfranchise any uh, qualified delegate, he's all for it. He believes that with the years of experience that this party um has had in, in conducting internal elections. He has absolute no doubt that decisions made by the National Council regarding the conduct of these elections, that is the one on August 26th and then the one on November 4th, would definitely be one that would be in the best interest of the party. And that would ensure that each and every qualified voter will have an opportunity to vote. So he is um, very, very inclined and leaned towards whatever decision the National Council will come up with. Prior to the meeting, an impression was created that Dr. Baumia was against a centralization of the Congress. You are saying that that's not accurate. That is that is completely false. The, the, Dr. Baumia's position is what I've just, I've just told you. His position is to um, accede to whatever guidelines that the National Council would, would, would come up with. I see, but the fact, the, but the fact that he is not one of the petitioners, the presumption would be that he is against the petitioners. But we always have four against and indifferent, don't we? So Dr. Baumia is indifferent. At the negotiation table this afternoon, he's going to say, whatever the party decides, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not interested in either position. The, the, the issue is that you cannot be a player and a referee at the same time. Once you begin to get yourself involved in that space, then you are creating problems for the party. Once you begin to say that decisions around such processes should be based on how you feel and what you believe and what you suspect and what you sense, what you perceive, then you are throwing the entire process into chaos because there are about 10 or so candidates who are vying for this 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 library position. And people have different views and varying opinions on how things should be done. And so you can imagine if tomorrow we have three people petitioning, and maybe we have four people petitioning against six, another time you have two petitioning against eight. It would it would disorganize and destabilize our party. And that's what the vice president is trying to stay away from. He believes in the experience and the exposure of the membership of the National Council. You know, National Council decisions are very, very consultative. The composition of National Council, which I'm sure you are very much aware of, is very broad and very representative. And so it's very, very difficult for a decision to come out of the National Council and for you to um, have an issue with it. You rarely, rarely have uh, the majority of them having an issue uh, against the, the National Council uh, decision. And that's what the Vice President is saying, that let's allow the National Council based on the experience, the exposure, and the composition of the of that particular body to make these guidelines and regulations for all of us to comply with and is ready to comply. But is it the case that if the, the election is decentralized, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia is bound to win? That's the argument that has been made, that there may be intimidation because he's an establishment candidate and all of that. Is that I mean, first of all, first of all, these... These issues are issues that Dr. Mbagwa doesn't even want to bother himself to, to even double him because he's very busy. This morning, we got back from Kumasi after spending uh, close to 12 days in the Ashanti region, and he, he we just entered Accra. He's been busy with the delegates, busy with the police station, electoral area, and constituency executives, trying to sell to them the reason why he should be the preferred candidate 
ahead of everybody. That is his preoccupation at the moment. He is not ready to get into the space of name calling, calling and suspicions and perceptions and insinuations. I mean, Umaru, I am very much aware that you know the, the, the makeup of the delegates for the special delegates conference. Who, who in there is one that can be intimidated? And this issue of uh, trying to create an impression that everybody following Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is, is, is a coward is the is 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 funniest thing any, any polit- politician will make. You have ministers of state following other candidates. You have members of parliament following other candidates. The fact that there are 138 MPs or 37 MPs and you have three of them following you and another candidate has 120. <laughs> and you say that because you have three, as for those three, they, they are brief and they are courageous. And that the rest of the 120, because they are not following you, they are cowards. So we leave that to the party. You are saying that the over 36,000 police station executives that Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya engaged in a shanty region in the past 12 days, these 36,000 delegates, 36,000 or more delegates, they showed up at Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya's meetings, wore his t shirt, chanted his name because they are intimidated. But when you you go to the same Ashanti region and you have delegates coming out and they are also 10,000, 15,000, because you got 10,000 and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia got 36,000, you are 10,000, they were not intimidated. But Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's 36,000 were intimidated. I think it's a defeatist, political defeatist argument. And usually these things happen when you can see your 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 loose on, on the wall, clearly. And for us, we are not bothered with our business. We are very focused. Um, we are engaging the party people, and that's what we are going to fix. We are not ready to engage people on issues that are not directly related to selling our message to the police station executive. Thank you for speaking to us. Uh, that's uh, 